Ever wondered what it really takes to extract a diamond born billions of years ago? Some of the world's richest mines operate in regions so remote they require self-sustaining towns just to keep running. From frozen tundras to volcanic craters, this journey reveals the machines and geology that bring Earth's rarest stones to light. Every year, over 150 million carats of diamonds rise from deep within the planet. Yet their true origin isn't found in glittering caverns. It begins in ancient volcanic conduits that carried them upward at unimaginable speed. What happens between solid rock buried far below the continents and the brilliance of a finished gem? Today, we follow that transformation, from extraction to precision, to see how Earth's hardest mineral is mined. This is how diamonds are made, from start to finish. Diamond-bearing kimberlite drives a $90 billion global industry, turning remnants of ancient eruptions into modern value chains that support entire regions. These stones formed more than a billion years ago, under pressures and temperatures found only deep within the mantle. From Botswana's deserts to Canada's tundra, diamond mining sustains remote communities and powers local economies that depend on the trade. Kimberlite pipes, steep geological channels frozen in time, are the vaults where these crystals waited for discovery. Aerial shots reveal vast, open pits descending in spirals, shifting to conveyors moving freshly mined ore toward the first stage of processing. Global maps highlight the scattered distribution of deposits, showing how tectonics and time shaped the modern diamond supply. Before the journey continues, every ton of ore must enter an intake system engineered to extract maximum value from ancient stone. When ore reaches the surface, each load enters a controlled receiving area where technicians evaluate its density, texture, and grade in seconds. Digital systems register truck IDs, tonnage, and ore quality, creating a real-time map of what the mine delivers each hour. Conveyor feeders separate oversized fragments from finer material, guiding each type toward the appropriate line. Magnets lift away stray metal that could interfere with processing. Moisture sensors check the condition of the rock as it moves, ensuring the flow remains steady and predictable. In the preparation yard, loaders move with practiced precision, while belts carry blue-gray kimberlite toward the first crushers. Barcode tags and RFID markers track every batch, linking its journey from pit to plant. Pieces suitable for industrial use are diverted toward resale streams, while the rest continues forward, sorted, logged, and prepared. This stage turns raw excavation into organized supply, clearing the path for the intense transformation ahead. Once the ore is prepared, it enters the core of the operation, a place where raw geology meets overwhelming force. Massive jaw crushers clamp down with pressures exceeding 200 tons, reducing boulders to fragments in a single mechanical exhale. From here, Rotating mills grind the pieces further, turning dense kimberlite into coarse gravel-like material. The sequence flows with relentless rhythm. Crush, scrub, screen, separate. Each stage stripping away another layer of ancient rock. High-pressure water jets dislodge stubborn minerals, and vibrating screens sort the material by size as the lighter fragments lift and drift away. Gravity tables and dense media separators concentrate the heavier particles, the ones most likely to hide diamonds within their crystal armor. Within minutes, the mountain that once took millions of years to form collapses into uniform fragments. Inside that controlled destruction lies the first glimpse of value, the transition from untouched rock to potential treasure. But breaking the stone is only the beginning. To reveal true diamonds, the process must shift from power to precision. Inside the recovery plant, raw force gives way to controlled science. Here, the material enters a line where every movement is measured, every variable tracked. Temperatures, flow rates, and mineral densities are monitored in real time as the concentrate moves towards separation. 
X-ray machines pulse through the stream, triggering microbursts of air that eject diamonds the instant they react to the beam. What was once a chaotic mix of crushed rock becomes a clean cascade of selected particles, each one responding uniquely to light. Grease belts take over next, their surfaces capturing diamonds while ordinary minerals slide away in thin sheets of water. Robotic arms lift the captured stones into precision trays, guiding them toward laser scanners that read shape, clarity, structure, and fluorescence with microscopic accuracy. Rollers, cooling chambers, and automated channels refine the product further, turning molten potential into clean geometry. By the end of the line, every recovered diamond, large or small, has been shaped by a choreography of heat, sensors, and machine-guided perfection. Now refined and separated from the last remnants of the earth it came from, the stones move into their final phase, testing, certification, and purpose. Before any diamond leaves the facility, it enters a realm of pure scrutiny. Under bright, cold lights, each stone is examined with microscopes that reveal the hidden landscape inside it, inclusions, fractures, and the microscopic fingerprints of its creation. Ultrasonic scanners probe for internal weaknesses, sending waves through each crystal to detect what the eye cannot see. Spectrometers read chemical signatures, distinguishing natural diamonds from synthetics and verifying their authenticity with absolute precision. Machines test hardness, symmetry, and structural integrity, ensuring that every stone can endure a lifetime of wear without losing its brilliance. Only after passing this gauntlet of inspection is a diamond graded, documented, and sealed with its identity, a record that will follow it across continents. From here, the stones radiate outward into the world, some destined for cutting centers in Antwerp, others heading to artisan workshops in Surat, and many bound for industries where diamond hardness becomes a tool, drilling, aerospace, and high-tech optics. Each one begins a new chapter of purpose, carrying with it the legacy of fire, pressure, and human precision. From the violent depths of ancient volcanic eruptions to the relentless machinery of modern industry, every stage of this journey reveals a single truth. A diamond is not just a stone, it is transformation made visible. What began as carbon trapped beneath 150 kilometers of pressure rose through the planet in a flash of unimaginable force. It slept for a billion years inside kimberlite, waiting for the moment when human hands, machines, and innovation would release it into the world. Now shaped, tested, and certified, each diamond stands ready for its next purpose, to crown a piece of jewelry, to drive a precision tool, or to power advanced technologies that push human progress forward. This cycle of extraction and craftsmanship sustains communities, fuels global industries, and connects the ancient earth to modern life in a single brilliant form. What other treasures lie hidden beneath our feet, waiting for their story to be told? If this journey inspired you, share, like, and subscribe, and join us again as we uncover how the world is made from start to finish.